Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. About two weeks ago, this thing showed up in the mail from Banggood. They were sending me some other things, and I said, well, we'll just send you a meter as well. And uh, I thought, okay, I mean, I'll take a meter, sure. This is the uh, Musk Tool MT-108T. And uh, I didn't really think much about it. It wasn't something that I coveted or anything like that, but I was actually in the market for a meter. Now, let me explain. If you've been on my channel lately, you've seen these two meters. This is the Hantec 2D72 oscilloscope meter data logger function generator thingy. And this is my daily driver, the Kaiweetz HT118A. And I love this meter. But these are my office meters. These are the ones that stay here. They stay clean and all that. But I don't know if you guys know, I use my meters a ton. Let me show you. So these are my everyday drivers and everyday drivers past. And you can tell that uh, starting with my first voltmeter, um, these things take a beating. I take them overseas. I use them in crazy places. I climb into rafters and stick this thing in my pocket and go up there and do electrical work in attics from America to Africa to South America and parts in between. And so it's important to me that beyond having my fancy clean meters that I also have some meters that I can just chuck in my pocket. The problem is that this thing eventually died and it only works on DC. These things used to be just free at Harbor Freight, but the quality has gone down so bad that I don't recommend these things. I took one of these straight out of the package and plugged it into an AC outlet and sparks flew. And so uh, these things, uh, I used to love them, but I'm just out on them. And the fact that you can't get them for free from Harbor Freight anymore, I just, I don't recommend them. This thing is obviously impractical. It weighs about two pounds, only does voltage, uh, AC and DC voltage, but it only does voltage, so that's out. So now we're down to these three. The problem is when my fluke died, I went to this uh, Innova thing that I've had laying around for years. This is kind of my first bench, you know, electronics meter, and it's just, it's just junk. I mean, the, the probes are junk. Everything about it's junk. It works. It's fine, but like, I wanted an upgrade for my throw it in the bag meter. And so, uh, the clamp meter, I use them both at the same time, but I needed another meter that I could just toss in the bag. And so, in came this thing. Now, I didn't have very high expectations of it, but as you can see, it's already a little scratched up. I, tossed it in the bag and I used it on my everyday electrical work and all that kind of stuff. And I really like this thing. I wasn't even sure if I was going to do a review about it, but uh, let me, let me show you what I think. As you can see, this thing is pretty much in agreement with my beloved Kaiweetz meter. Uh, the Kaiweetz obviously has a much bigger screen and is showing you the cycles, the Hertz on the screen at the same time as the voltage. It's also lighting up to tell you that you are using high voltage. All of that is awesome. And this one, in fact, I have to come in here and I have to hit this button if I want to see how many Hertz the AC is. And then I have to hit it again and again to get back to the actual voltage where it'll auto range. Uh, but what makes this thing awesome is that it, this one has separate, um, positions on here for AC and DC where this one, I have to actually come over here and hit the function button to jump between AC and DC. And I don't love that about this meter. Moving through the rest of the features, you have things that you have on most multimeters. You're going to get your DC. You're going to have uh, amps, milliamps, even down to microamps, which is pretty cool. This is also a true RMS meter, which is sweet. And it will power itself off if you leave the switch turned, which is also sweet. But beyond that, you start getting into features that make this thing a lot better than this thing. And so we're going to look, first of all, it has a flashlight, which is pretty awesome. Uh, not the craziest, brightest thing in the world, but you know, everybody used to carry around a separate camera. And then all of a sudden, when they started putting cameras on phones, people started realizing the best camera you have is the one that you have on you. And I find that when I'm doing electrical work in crazy places, the it's fantastic to have a flashlight on the meter, even if it's just a second one. The other thing I really like about this is it has this non-contact voltage thing. And so you'll see it beeps when 
it is detecting voltage and that's really cool i have a standalone ticker that i use all the time and uh you know you should never trust your life to the non-contact voltage thing the way i the way i look at an, an ncv is that basically it can warn you that there is voltage but it will not tell you that there's not voltage let me say that again it will warn you that there is voltage but it will not tell you that there's not voltage so in other words if i am looking to figure out which outlet is off or you know going getting ready to go into a box before i sit there and take the wire nuts off the thing to to get in there with my meter i'm going to hit it with the non-contact and just tell me it's definitely hot or there's a potential that it's off uh, get it potential uh, the next thing i really like is this thing has a built-in square wave generator which i mean it's not going to replace a full function generator but it's kind of a cool thing to have let me show you so i'm not going to bother hooking this thing up to the computer because i think you can just visualize it right here but let me uh hook up the hand tech and where's my probe thingy here so you can see you immediately get a square wave on here that we're at uh 50 hertz i believe it's this one is it range what is it Yep, this one. So we're going to go up to 100. I have to go up a little bit more. Let's go here. So at 500 hertz, you can start seeing that we're getting multiples on here. Keep going up. And you can see that, you know, hey, we're getting a little 4,000 hertz uh, square wave on here. So again, I mean, not the most essential feature to have, but it's very cool to have an extra little uh, single purpose function generator in your meter even if it's just for a quick arduino test or something like this to demonstrate on your oscilloscope the next thing i like is in addition to resistance and capacitance and diode checking and i believe that'll tell you the forward voltage of the diode uh, and my favorite the continuity checking where when you touch them together it's going to beep it also has a temperature probe on it and so it did come with a thermal couple it's nothing particularly fancy but this is great, you know, when you're working on a car HVAC or house HVAC um, in Florida, we're always looking for the differential. So you want to know the uh, difference between what the HVAC unit is putting out versus the ambient air temperature and things like that. And uh, so we have a thermocouple here. Um, I have, let me see if I can find a probe for it. I have this uh, Fluke 51. Man, if this meter can talk, the places this thing has been uh, pretty incredible. But this one has the ability to, uh, with the right coupler, go up to 2,500 freedom degrees, uh, as we used to call them. And so if I were to put this on here, let's see. This is an aftermarket thermocouple. See how accurate we are. It's been 20 years since this thing has been calibrated. So yeah, we're reading uh, 69.70, so uh, 70, 70, look at that. Uh, so this thing agrees with the much more expensive Fluke 51 um, thermometer. And so uh, this does not have the extra decimal of precision that this one does, but I mean, hard to beat with that. And that's agreeing with my thermometer that I've got up there. So we're right at 70 degrees. So this, it's just a handy thing to have. So. The big thing is this thing is 18 bucks and uh, Banggood sent it to me free of charge. I didn't even agree to do a video on it. They just said they were gonna send it to me. And so I was like, sweet, I'll take it. But like, I'm really at the point where there's just no reason to buy this. And uh, I like some of the Aining, Aining 8008, some of those other meters that are, are pretty popular in the maker circles. But when you factor in the non-contact voltage, the flashlight, the, you know, the mini function generator and the temperature probes and all that kind of stuff, this is a fantastic throw it in the bag meter it's this is going to get scratched up if you don't put a screen protector on it the case is reasonably you know it's reasonably solid it runs on triple a batteries which personally i would prefer double a but it sure beats having to grab a nine volt battery so in my mind if you're looking for that meter that you can just chuck in a bag and really use uh this is the one man i just get rid of this thing i don't see any reason for it and and i'm I'm basically never going to tell you to buy any particular item, but if you're looking for a $20 meter, man, buy this. It is fantastic. Um, so, hey, thanks to Banggood for sending it to me and hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, have a great day.